Hello there, I'm Lloyd Evans and you're watching the John Cedars channel from The Bunker and in this video I had better talk about what happened <laughs> the other day when I was live streaming. I was doing a watch along with my good friend and colleague Mark O'Donnell and rather cheekily I will admit <laughs> we were doing a watch along of the Gilead graduation, the very latest Gilead graduation. Um, what happened was, so the Gilead graduation is a rather auspicious event in the Jehovah's Witness calendar. It happens twice a year. It's basically a school for those who dedicate themselves full time to serving Watchtower in various capacities. And because of the outbreak of a certain pathogen, <laughs> which I've got to be careful about naming due to the risk of demonetization. YouTube is all over the place at the moment with this sort of thing. Um, due to a certain situation that many of you are well aware of, it was decided that the audience would basically not be allowed to attend. Only the Gilead graduates and the instructors and the governing body members, as far as I'm aware, were actually allowed to attend the event. Everyone else who had been invited were instead given a link so that they could log in and watch the whole thing online. Now, because there is so much discontent among Jehovah's Witnesses, even among the sort of Jehovah's Witnesses who get invited <laughs> to Gilead graduations, almost inevitably... We were emailed, I say we, JW Survey were emailed with the links for the Gilead graduation so that we could watch it. And I said to Mark, why don't we do uh, a watch along live stream? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> and we made it 90 minutes through before Watchtower pulled the plug. So literally mid live stream, I've not heard of this happening before, by the way, certainly not. No, I can't think of it happening on YouTube. Maybe it has happened and it's just not the sort of thing I keep track of. But um, Watchtower issued a DMCA takedown notice and YouTube, rather than waiting for the live stream to finish, and reaching a judgment as to whether we were in breach of copyright, YouTube just stopped the live stream straight away. The upshot of that is that I now have a strike on my channel, a copyright strike. I've not had one of those for many, many years. You're only allowed three. The third one basically means that you get your channel taken down. So not a very nice situation to be in and to make matters even worse I am barred from live streaming now until the middle of June. So quite infuriating although it must be said that it's fascinating to consider that Watchtower is monitoring my channel closely enough to actually stop a live stream mid live stream. I mean, you could understand if, you know, someone got wind of the fact that the watch along had been uploaded and phone calls were made and, oh, you know, maybe the next day the video gets taken down, that sort of thing. But to have it cut off <laughs> literally 90 minutes in to doing the live stream was quite astonishing and Look, many are saying that's evidence that Watchtower is keeping close tabs on the John Cedars channel. I mean, I don't know how closely they monitor the channel, but certainly to at least some degree, they are monitoring what I'm doing, which again is very flattering. Thank you. Hello, Watchtower. <laughs> You're almost certainly watching this video because I'm talking about the copyright aspect. So, okay, it's a tricky one as to where to go next. Uh, just so you're aware, just so that you can make your own informed judgment as to who was in the right and who was in the wrong, here are a few clips from said watch-along live stream before it was taken down. 
it is requested that no recordings of any kind be made. No recordings, Lloyd. Like cellular <laughs> telephones, electronic tablets, or similar Does devices. Does that include apostate screenings? Not be used. Yeah, I'm in the process of shutting this part down. down. I'm going to take a while, though. Oh, it's this a uh, great and uh, most wonderful bow your head, Lloyd. <laughs> the graduation of the one hundred so wrong. <laughs> your father, We're you actually are a wonderful at the meeting. God, a happy God, and a clean God. Why does it feel so wrong to be talking over someone? Uh, he gave a lot of wine to a newly married couple at their wedding feast. Uh, yeah, we he gave the gift of uh, healing and, and, and turned water into whiskey, probably. as I recall. And he fed thousands. He gave them food. Uh, he gave a widow her son back after he died. How unlike Satan the devil. Uh, you could say he has not one modest bone in his spirit body. <laughs> uh, figuratively speaking, of course. <laughs> but no modesty. Using the cliche and then realized he was talking about a spirit being without bones. Belong to Job. <laughs> Wonderful. Why do you oh, call me good? <laughs> Nobody is You're good stretching, Mr. Lett. Except Lett. one. But Oh, God. crap, I'm halfway through. And this uh, he he always gave the credit, the glory to Jehovah. Uh, we do our best to put Jehovah's preferences ahead of our own preferences. We endeavor not to draw attention to, to ourselves extreme of by high-sounding vocabulary or, or even immodest yeah. dress and grooming. Uh, we should strive very hard not to ever try to get to know confidential things we're not entitled to know. And we certainly shouldn't reveal confidential things that's fascinating isn't it he it is, really yeah, doesn't like the idea of people knowing elders, stuff that he knows if someone asks you about a certain confidential God. matter mm -hmm. do you know anything about this if you'd like to take your bibles and turn with me to Ecclesiastes <laughs> professor bunsen burner <laughs> Ecclesiastes. and maybe some of the people in your congregation and branch works are saying why were they accepted i bet that was his reaction when he got his appointment to the governing body <laughs> But now he, um, uh, yeah, about or maybe when he got his invitation to, but it's uh, to remember the Australian Royal Commission, <laughs> others yeah. are surprised about privileges. It could be that Jehovah is saying to you, Look, you've already had enough privileges. You went to Gilead, remember? Now be happy that I'm letting someone else have an unexpected privilege. It feels like very much a continuation of Let's Talk. He's Another thing that basically we'll telling graduates not like to get that. ahead of themselves, Just isn't remember he? remember many of the accounts in the scriptures. And one of yeah, those that's a common theme. we like to refer mm. to briefly, you always <laughs> secretly have wanted, and that you <laughs> nice comment, finally free. think you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> For example, in English, privilege carries the meaning of entitlement. We may speak of a privileged class. It would be a Gilead graduation without a rudimentary word wealth, having its definition have explained. Have a higher place in society. <laughs> so as you can see, it was a fairly light-hearted affair. Mark and I, again, were being a bit cheeky. <laughs> but nonetheless, you could argue that what we were doing... Well, you can't just argue. It's obvious that the nature of what we were doing was transformative. Uh, in other words... We weren't just showing the live stream as though we were the ones broadcasting the live stream. We were transforming the nature of it by adding our own commentary. Now, it gets a little bit complicated when you're showing the whole thing. Now, there were a few points where we muted the volume because we didn't want to trigger everyone who was watching by making them listen to the Kingdom Melodies. Um, but apart from that, we were showing the whole thing. And obviously the reason for that was because it was a watch along and we didn't know um, what was going to happen next. If we knew in advance what was going to happen next, we obviously could have just edited the clips accordingly. But we knew that this thing was happening. We knew that people could, if they had the link, watch along. And after the live stream ended, that's what many people ended up doing. So why not add our own commentary? So again, Watchtower found out what we were doing and they pulled the plug. And here is the moment when Mark and I realized that our audience had disappeared. So let's give Brother Lipold our attention as he presents this, the inside story. <laughs> oh boy, story. here we go, Lloyd. The inside uh, story. 
Look Mark, at this we've intro. Been shut down. We've been shut down. We have the, the YouTube. The YouTube video says video unavailable. Okay, what do we? Do? Oh shoot. Um. <clears throat> well, it was a good run. It was good while it lasted. Maybe we should just. Oh, obviously, we don't have an audience now. Today, we're going to meet four guests from three continents, representing um, the one hundred. Eighth class of guilt. Bummer. So again, the question is what to do now. I have had time now to reflect on what happened. I've also taken advice from people who know a lot about copyright because, quite frankly, copyright is such a difficult area in which to navigate. There are so many different nuances, as was highlighted in the Dark Spilver case. I mean, that was a slam dunk in the end, but only in the end after lots of people had been involved. The Electronic, the Electronic Frontier Foundation got involved. They managed to overturn um, a previous decision. I won't go into the whole thing, but if anyone needs some indication of just how complicated and you could say open to interpretation copyright law is, just watch our Watchtower in Focus episodes where we cover the Dark Spilver case. And I suppose the question is, do I issue a counter notification or not? If I issue a counter notification, I am initiating a legal process which could end up, I don't know, it could end up lasting for years, couldn't it? It could uh, use up lots of resources in legal costs, Assuming I need to hire a lawyer, it could be that I find pro bono representation. In any case, you're talking about a huge commitment in time. And the only real benefit would be to fight a copyright dispute. And you could argue to some degree, argue issues connected with free speech because um, fair use is a fundamental right. I feel as though my right has been violated because I was legitimately interested in adding my commentary to the Gilead broadcast. I feel many others were interested in what we had to say, or at least that seemed to be the case, because there were 580 watching along with us, even though much of the material we were commenting on, it must be said, was extremely tedious. We still managed to hold our audience there to some degree, um, so is it worthwhile getting bogged down in lengthy litigation when, quite frankly, I would much rather um, engage myself with what I'm currently doing, which is holding the organisation to account to the extent I can over their abusive practices? Um, I think I'm going to let this one go actually. At least that's how I'm currently minded. It could be that something changes and some new information is brought to my attention and it could be that I change my mind and I do decide to issue a counter notification because quite frankly the channel is going to struggle f because I'm not going to be able to live stream. So no more Watch Tarion Focus live. So it is a massive inconvenience. I'm being inconvenienced, and I also, I strongly feel, I'm having my rights uh, infringed on far more than I have conceivably infringed on Watchtower's rights. Because let's face it, the whole thing's going to end up online at some point anyway. Uh, they just don't want me commenting on what they're doing. So I guess that's where I am at the moment. I wanted to just thank all of you who were tuned in. Again, 580 at one point who were watching. Was it 580 or 480? <laughs> it's all a blur now. I'm going to say 480. I don't want to exaggerate. 480, let's say. Thanks to all of you who were um, watching along with us. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. I do have... Uh, the full 90 minute recording of, of what we uh, what we did so maybe one day that will find its way online in some form or other but for now 
I just wanted to let everyone know what happened and what I'm doing or not doing about it. Again, I just feel that there are more important hills to die on. And if something is sort of 50-50 like this, you then have to ask the question, is it really worthwhile going into it with any degree of uncertainty if it's not something I feel that passionately about? And quite frankly, at this particular stage, although I feel aggrieved somewhat, um, it's no huge thing. I'm actually, if anything, just flattered <laughs> that, uh, that Watchtower is paying my channel so much attention. So hello again. Um, good job. Well done. You got this one. Um, but yeah, more than anything, I'm glad that you are watching along. <laughs> watching along to my watch along. And yeah, I hope that this will have shed light on what happened. That's pretty much all I have to share with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the John Cedars channel for more such videos. And as always, thank you for watching.